everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another one of my just absolute favorite videos and that is a Rose Rose Shop haul. As usual, I ordered a whole bunch of things that I wanted to review and show on my channel, so I'm going to share with you guys all of the things I got so you can kind of um, look forward to some videos that I'm going to be having over the next few weeks on these products. So the first thing I got was another BB cream I wanted to try out and this is from the brand The Sem. This is called the Semul Cover Foundation. So um, a few weeks ago, probably actually maybe closer to like a month or two ago, I did a review on these BB creams from The Sem. I have a couple of them right here. Um, this is the one that I really liked, but I had a whole video dedicated to showing the three different types um, that they had. Uh, this is also a primer that went with it, but they finally had this one on the website, which is the Cover Foundation one. So I figured that this this one's going to be a lot more of like a higher coverage foundation because the other one was like an acne one one was like a like pore minimizing one and then the other one was like a it was called like a moist BB um, so that one's more of like a dewy you know finish one so this one I was really excited to try because it is the cover one and um, yeah these are super inexpensive this was 344 and the size of this is half a fluid ounce so that's not bad at all it is a little bit on the smaller side but it's so affordable you know that's equivalent to like about you know like a six and a half dollar foundation for like a regular fluid ounce so I really like these so far I can't wait to try this one and I will definitely have a video on this one coming soon so next I got three more glitter um, eyeshadows I really love these so much um, this is one that I got from my previous haul and I decided I wanted the other four um, or I guess the other three for the full four of them so the one that I had before I think was in the color like Stella Burst or something, um, but it's from the brand Holicaholica. It's the Magic Inside Glitter Eyeshadows. So I got the three that I didn't have. So the other one I have, it's over there at the moment. I don't have it to show it, but I will do like an updated video showing this whole line. These are the three colors. They're kind of similar to each other, but I don't mind that because I really like them. But in my updated video, I will um, totally like let you guys know how similar they are and give you like really good swatches so you can decide, you know, if you don't want all of them, which one you want. So this one's called Burnt Orange. This next one is called Rose Burst. And then the last one was called um, Fireworks. So those are the three colors. Again, I will show these all really up close and um, so you can get a good idea of what the colors are like. And those were $6.39 a piece. So I think, you know, especially if you're only getting like one or two of them, I think that those are super, super fairly priced and they are stunning. I swear, they're just so pretty. So the next thing are some hair products. I got quite a few different like colors hair products I wanted to try out. This I've tried from this brand before. It was just a different color and I loved it so, so much, but they always are out of that color. Um, so this is from the brand Misha. This is called the Seven Days Coloring Hair Treatment. And the one that I used to get that I really loved was called um, like Ash Gray. And it's so pretty, but it, I can like almost never find it. So this is one I wanted to try. This one I think is called Pink Brown. And I got a few of these. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five of them because they are a little bit small and you know if you're just doing like streaks or like a certain you know area of hair then like one of these would probably be good but I like to do all over colors so I like to have enough to do that these are also like 25 milliliters a piece and they come in just like a little squeeze tube packet so I like that because you can really get all of the color out and they have a whole bunch of different colors of these um, I think they have like a bluish one they have the pink brown they had the purpley one they had like a, I think a yellow one they have a lot of different colors but I'm always really frustrated whenever they don't have the ash one because that one is so perfect because it like lasts in my hair for a good amount um, it definitely lasts longer than seven days for me because I typically don't wash my hair like a whole whole lot I probably wash it like two um, times a week so it really l makes the color last but it fades so nicely so I hope that's the same for this color because I haven't tried it yet but I think I'll actually do a video dedicated on this whenever I um, actually try this one as well and these are so inexpensive these were 216 a piece so you know not bad especially if you have to buy a few more definitely not bad at all and I actually bought some more hair color stuff because I like a lot of these because they're more of like temporary colors and stuff which I really like I recently did the pink hair which I loved um, but I use my Pravana which I love Pravana it's so so good but that stuff does kind of stick in your hair and you can probably see in like certain spots I still have like a little bit of like pink that clings on and sometimes I don't like the color to last that long sometimes I like it just for like a couple weeks or so and then I want it you know kind of gone um, so Pravana is great if you want color to really stick but I want to just experiment with with 
different kind of um, products that won't last as long. So I actually ordered two of these, but um, they were out of stock, and I guess one was the last that they had, so I only got one of these. Um, this one is from Etude House. It's called the Two Tone Treatment Hair Color. I am so excited to try this. This is actually really decently priced as well. This one is $5.77, um, and this one's huge. Like, I really, I'm glad that this one's huge. This one is 150 milliliters. Again, I probably would have gotten two of them um, to like just be on the safe side. I feel like I could probably get my hair done with one of these though. But again, I did order two, but only one came and then they refunded me for the other one. So I think they recently have um, launched new colors of this as well, which I was like dying <laughs> to try. But I think there's like, there's the pale pink one. I think there's like a cherry red one. There was like a purple one. Um, I think the new color, one of the new colors was like a lavender -y purple. There's a bunch of new colors and stuff, but I really want to try them. But I'm also excited to try these. I think I'm going to like space these out a bit so I, you know, kind of can really see what the colors are like. Um, so I'm probably going to have a lot of pink hair soon or for a while. And the last like hair color product I got again is another pink hair product. This one um, looks very similar to the Misha one, but this one is from The Sem. It's called the Silk Hair Change Color Pop and mine are in the color rose pink. Surprise. Um, again, it comes in those little kind of uh, packets that you can like squeeze the product out of. These are also 25 milliliters a piece and um, yeah, these I think were actually even cheaper than the Misha ones. So I can't wait to see these and like see um, what the color's like because the Misha one is like pink brown. So I hope it's not really brown brown. I think it means more of like just a slightly toned down pink. But this one's called Rose Pink. I think that these are so pretty. And these were $1.87 a piece. So if these work really well, I think that these probably would be my new favorite. Um, I can't remember how many colors they had of this, but um, there were a bunch of really pretty ones. But I just kind of went with pink for this this time. So the next two things I got are from Peri Pera. Um, I think Peri Pera is like becoming one of my like definitely top favorite Korean beauty brands. So these are called the Ink Skin Tint. Um, these have actually kind of been out for a little while and I've been wanting to try them, but I just, you know, never bought them until now. Um, these are what the little boxes look like. These are actually so cute. Let me open them up real quick. So these are what the little bottles look like. I think they're really, really cute. They kind of have like that soft touch package, which I really like as well. Um, the first one I have here is number four. This one is Peach Tone Up. So I think this one's more like a color corrector kind of one and then the other one I have is number one ivory color I think there were only like three shades of this and they were all super light so don't get your hopes up if you're not um, super light um, but I really wanted to try these I think they look so adorable and Peri Peri just comes out with the cutest stuff um, I have a lot of really cute things to show in a minute but these I think are supposed to be like you know kind of like a foundation but I don't know how sheer or you know um, full coverage they'll be I'm imagining since it's called a skin tint it's gonna be more on the sheer side but I will definitely you know have a video talking about these soon and those were $6.25 a piece there was also a new one that came out with their like Peri Peri summer collection they really wanted it was like the mint kind of one which I really like for canceling out redness but it wasn't available on um, a rosewear shop at the time that I placed my order so unfortunately I don't have it but something I would probably look forward to maybe getting in the future so the next two things I got I'm kind of a little embarrassed about getting but they are so like stupid cute I couldn't help myself and this is kind of like one of those things I was like okay I need to place an order like now so these are really cute these are also from Peri Peri this is part of like their summer collection which is called the Dal Dal Factory which I guess is like kind of like an ice creamy theme because that's what the little logo is it's so cute um, these are called Peri's mini fridge and I died it's exactly what it looks like it's a little like mini fridge and these are so cute because if you've seen Peri Peri's products before they've also come out with like the same kind of thing before but with like a little mini like luggage suitcase thing which I thought was so so cute and I always wanted to get that but I, I was always like mm, I don't really need it I would like to try the products in it but I never you know ended up buying it these are basically the same thing I think a lot of the products are actually very similar there might be like a couple color differences from that one um, but I ended up getting both of these because I am crazy. So not only is there a pink fridge, but there's also a baby blue fridge. And I really like went back and forth for like 
a good while of thinking like, do I really need both of these? I mean, do I need these at all? No. But do I really need both of these? And the hardest part for me trying to justify it was because the products are the exact same products in both, you know, colorways. So it wasn't even like really worth it for me to buy both of them, but I really wanted both the little refrigerators. They're so cute. I feel so stupid like saying that, but they're so cute. But I think I'm going to give um, the products in one of them, like all the little makeup products to my friend and see if she wants them. Um, because I feel like they're really kind of products that would be up her alley. So I'm going to see if she wants those, but I'm going to keep the refrigerator for myself. <laughs> It's really kind of childish, I know, but it's so cute. I love like little trinkety kind of things like this. So I kind of went crazy for those, but um, they were just so cute. I couldn't help myself. And I have been so good at not buying stuff lately. Like I really have not bought much makeup lately, so I say. And these were $15.62 a piece. So, you know, a little bit more up there, but you do get a lot of products. Um, I think you get like, you know, maybe five or six different little products in here. I think one might be like a little like contoury liquid kind of thing. One is, I think there's a couple lip products. I'll have a whole video dedicated to this as well. But I think I also saw these on sweetkorea.com for just a little bit less. I think they were like 14 and change. So if you only need one of these and you're not crazy like me and you want to save a couple bucks, they also have them on Sweet Korea. And that's Korea spelt with a C. I think they also have these on Yes Style, but I'm pretty sure they were like $25 or something. So um, definitely a lot cheaper if you get it from either Rose Rose Shop or Sweet Korea. So again, with the Doll Doll Factory from Peri Para, their like little summer collection, they had a so, it was such a cute like cushion, I had to get it. So this is what it looks like. This one is just called the Airy Ink Cushion. And I haven't tried Peri Para's cushions before. I have like four other ones um, that I've tried, um, but this one, the like, actual case was so freaking cute and with a lot of these they are like interchangeable like little refills and stuff so I think I'm just gonna make this case like my usual like cushion foundation case because it is so stupid cute okay so there's like a little yeah I love doing that so this is what it looks like it looks like little sprinkles in here and stuff and it's did I need it no but it's so freaking cute. I'm definitely going to be trying this soon and I think this is like my favorite cushion case ever. It's just so adorable. And I got mine in the color number one ivory. So I think there might have been like two or three colors of this one. Um, but the case alone is so pretty. And again, like a lot of these you can kind of um, interchange different cushion brands like with the same kind of compact. So that was another thing that I like. So even if I don't love this cushion, I love this compact. And this was $8.75, which I think is a pretty reasonable price for a cushion foundation. I have reviews on all the other ones I've tried as well. So the Misha Moisture one, I have the Wet n Wild one, I have an Etude House one, and then I also have an Apu one. So I have videos on all of those. Just search my channel if you want to know what I think about those cushion foundations. And then the final thing I got from the Peri Para Doll Doll um, Factory like collection was this eyeshadow palette. Now I'm probably not gonna like this, but again, it was so stupid cute. And so this is like a little eyeshadow palette. There's, I kind of go back and forth with Korean eyeshadows. There's a lot of them I don't like. I just find that they're very sheer and some of them kind of can be really flaky. I kind of think that that might be how these are, but we will see. So this is the like little eyeshadow quad. Again, it's like so pretty. This is called the Sugar Twinkle Glitter Palette. This was $10. So this I really kind of bought because it was cute, but um, it comes with four different glittery kind of colored eyeshadows in here. I love the like compact of this as well. It's just so like, even if this was plain, I just love I love this. I love this so much. It's so they're all shimmery kind of colors. There is like this pink kind of um, like opalescent one. There's like a blue kind of opalescent one. There's like the champagne peach one. And then there's like this brownie kind of a uh, shimmer copper color. This is so pretty. I want to touch this like right now, but I'm just going to make you wait for the video. I already have an idea of how this is probably going to work out, but it was so pretty. There were also a few other products that went along in the actual like summer collection. There was like some new lip gelato colors. I didn't really feel like I wanted any of those. They just didn't really speak to me. And then there were also two lip glosses that were very cutely packaged as well. But one was like an orange and one was like a blue. And they're like kind of like sheer lip glosses, but they, it almost looked like they had like the confetti glitter in it, like kind of like the little string confetti glitters in it which I don't really like and I just didn't feel like those really 
I don't know, they were super cute, but I kind of had to hold back somehow, so that was my way of not buying those to kind of rein this in a bit. This is a little bit of a boring product, but I love this one so much. So this is the Etude House Mascara Remover little sample ones. They do have a full size on there as well. Um, these were two little samples for 88 cents, which was like really good. They used to have these for like one of them for about 80 cents, so I'm really glad that, that these are so much cheaper. I feel like the little sample vials work so much better better than the full size one. That's my conspiracy theory. So I always end up buying these. You actually end up getting a little less product for more money than you would if you would have bought the full size one. But I like the little ones just so much more. So this is like a definite repeat product. Um, one I super, super love. It's just really good at removing those really tough mascaras. The next three things I got are kind of the antithesis of like glitter eyeshadows and stuff. But I really wanted to try these as well and I like how they look. They almost remind me of like liquid lipsticks they almost remind me of like liquid lipsticks for your eyes. So these are from the brand Apu. These are called the Eye Mousse um, Cream Shadows. So I got three different colors of them. I think I got the lightest color, the darkest color, and then like one of the um, like in-between colors. I swatched these already. They look really pretty. I can't wait to use these. I feel like these would be really great for just like an all over the eye kind of um, color. Um, just like a one kind of thing and done. Three colors that I got. The darkest one I think is called Daily Mocha. So that's this one. Again, these kind of look like really cool liquid lipsticks, but they are for your eyes. The lightest one, I believe, is called a Butter Pie, and that is this one. So it's a little bit lighter. Let me hold them together so you can kind of see those colors. And the third one I got is called Soft Cashmere. This one's more of like a pinky mauve kind of color. So those are the three colors all together. I'm sure I'll do a video on these as well, but I thought these would be really cool to try out, and I really like them so far just from like swatching them. So um, yeah, I can't wait to try these. These were $5.70. A piece. So definitely, if you're only getting like a couple of them, super, super affordable. So the next thing I got, I feel like I'm kind of like tempting fate with this one because I do have an eyebrow product that is like my absolute favorite one so far. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's their Studio Pomade in the color Blonde. Um, I have been using this for like two years. Like anytime I talk about something, this is the one I'm using. It's still going so strong. Like this thing, I feel like I will never like ever hit the bottom of. And so it's usually like, you know, if it's not broken don't fix it but this really kind of caught my attention and I thought it would be a really fun product to try out and see maybe it might be like a new favorite even though I really love that one but this is from Misha this is called the ultra power proof cream brow this is what the box looks like um, and then it looks like this little tube here and there were only two colors of this one there was a light brown and like a darker brown so I got the lighter brown this one is called natural brown and then the other one is just called dark brown um, and I didn't realize but it actually comes with a super cool like little brown brush thing with it. It's just like a little spoolie, but the little case makes it look so much more cool than it really is. But I will definitely um, give this a go soon and see, is it going to be better than my current favorite one. The reasoning for it was that it's kind of like a squeeze tube one and then it has like this little well here where you squeeze up the product and then you can kind of apply it. I like that because number one, it won't dry out as much because that's one problem I have a lot with this one. Because it's an open air kind of package, it tends to dry out a bit. So I end up rehydrating it with like a little drop of oil, but sometimes that can like mess up the product just a little bit and I have to let it like re-dry out a little bit if I put too much in. So this is kind of like a little bit slightly more sanitary kind of product that I wanted to try out. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't, but I'm sure I will let you guys know. And that was $7.21. So the next thing I got is a lip product, and I thought this was kind of like interesting, um, like packaging wise. So this is from the brand Misha. It's called the Wish Stone Tint Velvet. So let me open it up so you can kind of see how cool it looks. So I really thought this was a really cool packaging. It kind of looks like a crystal quartz or something. Um, it's really pretty. Mine is in the color Chongsun, which I believe means, I think, innocence. I think it's Innocence in Korean. They also, I think I also saw some in a purple package on other websites, but I didn't see those on Rosary Shop. But I only got one of them just to like try out. Oh my gosh, I really love this color. I kind of want to, I should put this on. Okay, I'm going to put this on right now. I already kind of have other lip product on, but I'm going to put this on like over it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It feels so like smooth. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty and so comfortable. It's definitely one of those like moussey kind of whipped lip products, but it almost feels like the like softest, cloudiest kind of lip product I've ever tried. Like even for mousses, like this is 
super, super soft. Damn, now I wish I would have gotten more of these. Um, but so far, like my very first impression, I'm loving this. I think I might have to like get some more in the future. Ooh, and it has like a light kind of fruity, like almost watermelony kind of scent to it, which I love. So that's really pretty. I like how it looks, but I like the product as well. I feel like that's such a pretty color. So I'm gonna have to get more of these. And that was only $4.69 for one of these. So such a good price. And the last few things I got are two more glitter <laughs> eyeshadows. These are from Etude House and they're called the Miraholic um, Glitter Eyeshadows. So these are actually really cute. They're super like, they're a lot smaller than um, a lot of other ones that I have, but I think they're super cute. There were a lot of different colors of these as well. I almost got the whole range, but I'm like, it's gonna be a lot to get all these. These were $7.93 a piece, so, <sighs> Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the size of these versus the price of these is a little off, but I'm gonna give these a go as well and let you guys know what I think about them. I only got two of the colors. Like I said, I wanted to get a lot of them. They actually had a lot more kind of colors. They had like your golds and some like pinky red, orangey kind of ones, but they also had this really cool one. This one is in the color Shining Eyes. This one is like a blacky green with like a silver glitter to it. So that one would be so pretty over like a black eyeshadow. Um, and then I got like a gold standard one. I should have got a different color or something a little bit more exciting. Um, and then this one is in the color Starlight Sprinkle. No, Starlight Sparkler. But it's like the super like gold kind of foily kind of color. I can't wait to try these as well. Like I cannot get enough of like glitter eyeshadows. I feel like these are the only way to wear glitter. But they also had like a purple color. I think they had like a straight up red color as well. Um, they had a lot of really fun colors. Um, I think they had like a like a white kind of holographic-y glittery kind of one. But I decided just to get two of them just in case if they weren't as good as some other ones so um, I will definitely have to try those out and see if I want to buy more in the future but those are all the things I got the last few things I got are just like the free samples that I got and I spent a lot of money so I got a, quite a few samples so I'll just go through this super super quick so the first two things I got are um, like a little sample set these are from Etude House they're called the Sunjung 10 free moist emulsion and toner. So you can never get enough little samples. I love them. And then I got two more of these. I think these are the same like ones. So I'm just gonna open one of them. I think a lot of these I might've gotten before I've already tried. Um, this first sample here, this one is called the Sentinella Green Level Calming Toner by Purito. I've never heard of that brand. So I'm not sure what that is either, but I love samples. Next, I got another Purito product. This is called the Snail Clearing BB Cream in number 27 sand beige. This is from Etude House. It's called the Moist Cream True Relief um, Balm Cream. And then I think I've gotten one of these before. I might actually have both of these. Um, this is from the brand Misha. This is called the Time Revolution First Essence Treatment Intensive Moist. I think I've tried one of these before um, sample wise, um, but I don't know if it's this one specifically. And then it has a second sample here. It is the Time Revolution a Night Repair Borabit ampule. I don't know what Borabit is, but um, yeah. So all those samples times two because I got another little sample packet of them. So that is it for this really big um, Rosewear Shop haul. This is definitely my biggest like downfall when it comes to online shopping. I can spend, I know I've spent so much money on Rosewear Shop, but I love reviewing these products and I think that they're so much fun and so cute and just so different. So um, definitely be looking forward to a lot of reviews on these products over the next coming um, weeks or so, even maybe months because this is a lot of stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.